Hello everyone. Welcome to the Old Man in the Reed. My name is Jerry. Uh, today I'm going to talk about another writer I really enjoy reading. Uh, that's Richard Ford. Uh, Ford was an American novelist and short story writer. Uh, he was born in 1944. Uh, but he he's wrote some really uh, great books. Uh, he's often often compared to uh, John Updike and it's because they wrote about similar types of uh, situations and and they each had created uh, very notable characters uh, that uh, they did books on uh, so uh, I'll show you the books I've read by him uh, um, and uh, try to say a little bit about them. Uh, the first book I have is a uh, short story compilation titled Rock Springs. Uh, this was published in 1987 and uh, the title story Rock Springs it features a man named Earl who's driving a stolen car uh, that he's taking from Montana to Florida. Uh, with him is his girlfriend Edna and they've been living together for uh, a while now. And the story is basically uh, about all of their misadventures uh, as they travel along. Uh, the next story I'll mention is Going to the Dogs and uh, this is about a man named Lloyd. Uh, he's in a house of a friend of his. Uh, the friend is gone and uh, uh, he's thinking of going to Florida because he wants to change his luck. He's been having some bad luck. Uh, but uh, there's a knock on the door of the house and so he goes and opens the door and uh, there's two women dressed in hunting gear and they have a dead deer with them and they want to know if the uh, owner of the house is there and he says no he's not there right now but invites them in and uh, their story goes from there. Um, and then uh, another story I'll mention is communist and uh, this uh, is about a 41 year old man who's uh, reflecting on a hunting trip he took when he was 16. Um, he went with a man who happened to have been a communist uh, but uh, uh, he went with him and his mother was with them and they went to, to a lake uh, to go hunting and the lake was full of white geese. Uh, oh, the next book I have, <laughs> I don't have. Uh, it's a book I read and I couldn't find it on my shelf anywhere, but uh, it's uh, a book I wanted to talk about because it's pretty critical to Richard Ford and that's Sports Writer. That's a book he wrote in 1986. I've, if I had a, the ability to know how to put a graphic up here with the, the picture of the book I would, but unfortunately I don't know how to do that. So anyway, uh, this features Frank Bas Bascom. Uh, Frank is uh, a man that uh, uh, Ford featured in uh, several of his books, but in, in this he's a 38-year-old man. Uh, he's uh, uh, divorced and he had two kids. Uh, one of them had died um, and uh, he writes uh, in uh, in a sports magazine uh, for a living uh, after his literary career just uh, failed. So uh, the book is mostly about uh, uh, his failing life. Uh, it's uh, about a lot of the tragedies and uh, experiences he's had, uh, his some of his meager, meager successes and uh, his failures. Uh, but uh, Frank Bascom is quite similar to uh, Harry, or to yeah, to Harry Angstrom, 
uh, the character from uh, John Updike books. Uh, they're both losers in life, but I always thought the difference is that uh, Harry Angstrom uh, who had problems that he created himself, whereas Frank Bascom just seems to be somebody who life is just throwing cur curveballs at. Uh, the next book is one I actually have. Uh, that's Wild Life, uh, published in 1990. And uh, this is a story that's narrated by a 16-year-old. Uh, his father's a, a bit of an underachiever, and he's uh, working as a golf pro. He's a teaching pro at a golf club. Um, but he doesn't like his job, he's dissatisfied with his life, and eventually he loses his job and then uh, decides to go uh, fight fires in Montana for a living. Um, when he leaves to go fight fires, then uh, the boy's mother uh, feels abandoned and she uh, has a love affair with a older wealthy man but then when the father returns after fighting fires she confesses to him about the affair and uh, he uh, then decides he wants to take revenge. Uh, next book is Independence Day uh, published in 1995 and this is the second of uh, the Frank Bascom uh, series. Uh, in this one Frank is uh, dealing with life. Uh, he's uh, had been divorced and uh, he's now uh, selling real estate but uh, nothing seems to work out well for him uh, uh, in spite of all of his efforts and then uh, I thought the most significant event that happened in the book was a road trip he took with his son to go to Coopersville uh, or Cooperstown, uh, but uh, that ended up uh, in the usual unfortunate uh, outcome that so many of her, his other situations did. In uh, 2002 he published A Multitude of Sins and uh, this is uh, another collection of short stories uh, most of these deal with adultery or just relationships in general, but uh, a couple of them. There's a really uh, short one, I think it's the opening story in here, uh, titled Privacy. And uh, this is about uh, uh, a uh, young couple. They're living in a pretty dire circumstances. Uh, he's uh, trying to uh, start a writing career and she works in editing books of some sort but uh, they're living in a little tiny apartment in uh, a large building uh, and uh, a high high rise type building uh, but it's a cheap uh, run down building and the uh, owner shuts the heat off overnight so they have to bundle up at night but anyway one night uh, the young man happened to be looking out the window and across the street in another uh, apartment uh, he saw an old elderly woman who was undressing in front of her window and uh, he uh, watched this and then uh, for several nights later he uh, watched the same thing and then he eventually uh, saw her on the street. Uh, and then another uh, story uh, titled Abyss. Uh, this is a very long story. This is actually the last one and it's, it's more of a novella than a short story. But uh, this is about an adulterous uh, couple of uh, real estate agents. Um, they're, uh, they seem to dislike each other but uh, they stay together for the sex, I guess. But uh, they go on a, a road trip uh, to go to 
the Grand Canyon, but as they travel, they begin disliking each, each other even more. And it, it the story ends in uh, kind of a really uh, nasty twist at the end. Uh, the next book is The Lay of the Land, published in 2006, and this is the third of the Frank Bascom uh, books. Uh, he's now 55 years old, and uh, he's uh, he and his son have become estranged. Uh, uh, he's uh, had the prostate cancer, and uh, his second wife has just uh, recently left him. But uh, then he gets a call from his first wife, and uh, she wants to renew their relationship. But uh, the book, like the other Bascom. Frank Bascom books takes place in uh, over a period of about three days and it just follows uh, Frank uh, as he ponders the events of his life. Uh, the next book I read was Canada uh, published in 2012 and this uh, is uh, follows a boy named Dell. he's 15 years old and his parents have just committed a bank robbery that then involves some shooting and uh, he is left uh, with his twin sister abandoned in their home. Um, the, the, this takes place in Great Falls, Montana, but uh, his sister then runs away and he's left alone. Then uh, later a friend of his mother uh, picks him up and drives him to uh, just a really remote Saskatchewan outback or backwater type place uh, and uh, brings him to her brother uh, Arthur to take care of and uh, but Arthur has some violence uh, or violent tendencies it's a tale narrated by uh, Dell as a he as a mature adult. So in spite of everything, you realize that he has uh, been able to survive and recounts his life. Uh, in 2014, he published "Let Me Be Frank with You," and this is the fourth of the Frank Bascom books. Uh, this is a, actually four connected novellas, uh, all featuring Frank, but in uh, the first one uh, titled I'm Here, uh, this takes place after Hurricane Sandy and Frank has uh, the, a house that he and his uh, second wife Sally had sold years uh, before and he finds it's been destroyed. And it just, the story goes into a bit of his life uh, in retirement. Um, another story titled Everything Could Be Worse. Uh, this is um, basically a story about a tragedy that takes place in the house he was living in uh, uh, in the book Independence Day. Uh, the next. Uh, Novala was the the new normal, and uh, in this one, Frank visits visits his ex-wife, the first ex-wife, and uh, uh, she's in a retirement home and is dying of Parkinson's disease. And then the last uh, novella is Deaths of Others, and in this one, Frank is uh, visiting an old friend who is also dying. And the last uh, book I read uh, by uh, Richard Ford is titled Sorry for Your Troubles was published in 2020 and this is nine short stories but uh, the first or uh, one of them titled Nothing to Declare is about a, a young couple uh, who have uh, 
made an ill-advised trip to Iceland. They were totally unprepared for it. They managed to survive it and got back and the both, uh, they both uh, separated and departed ways there. But then uh, they accidentally met, met again 35 years later. Uh, another story, Displaced, uh, it's about a 16 year old boy and uh, he's uh, trying to deal with life uh, after his father's death. And the last uh, story I'll mention is The Run of Yourself. And uh, this is about a man who's dealing with uh, the death of his wife. Um, and it's uh, both as she was dying and then after she was dead. But those are the books that I've read by Richard Ford. Uh, just an exceptional writer. Wrote some great books. Uh, beautiful writing at times. Uh, but uh, anyway, I want to thank you for uh, watching the video. And hopefully I'll see you on another. Thanks.